Good morning friends. In this class, we will discuss Yukawa's theory, that is, Yukawa's Mason field theory for strong force. In 1935, Japanese scientist Yukawa proposed a theory for strong interaction. He proposed that Strong interaction among the nucleons is the result of a change of particles called mesons, similar to photon exchange for electromagnetic interaction. Even though the mesons were not detected, he predicted the mass of the meson using Planck's equation and de Broglie's equation by the expression m is equal to the mass in terms of energy m is equal to hc by 2 pi r0 where this r0 represents the range of the force where it is approximately the range of the nucleus or the nuclear dimension that is 2 fermi 2 fermi that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 15 meters and C is the velocity of light and H is the Planck's constant. So by this equation, he predicted or he could calculate the mass of the, this exchanging particle is approximately 100 MeV. And really the mass of the meson is uh, 230 MeV or like that. So uh, he could predict the mass of the exchange particle by near accuracy. The above Ikawa's expression can easily obtained using uncertainty principle delta E into delta T is equal to H cross where this delta t is this r0 by c where r0 is the range of interaction you can see that this c is the velocity where the velocity c is equal to r0 by delta t so that this delta t can be written like this that is why this expression, this expression can simply obtain, this exact Ikawa's expression can simply obtain from these two expressions. How the forces are originated in fundamental interaction? So every force or interaction is happened when a carrier particle is exchanged between the respective interacting bodies. For, electro for electromagnetic interaction, it is photons. Hence, every charged body emits and absorbs photon ceaselessly. Then only they, they can interact each other. And the strength reduces, the strength of the interaction reduces with the distance and hence the strength of the force or strength of the interactions is also reduced with this distance since the strength of the photons as they move away is reduced the energy of the photon is reduced the strength of the interaction is also reduced and as the carrier becomes heavier, the range of force is reduced because they cannot move far away with that much energy and momentum. You can see this Feynman diagram for the particle interaction represents these interactions easily. For example, for the 
uh, electromagnetic interaction between two charged particles, two electrons. This is the Feynman diagram. You can see this is the initial particles. Here the initial particles are two electrons. They interacted by exchanging this gamma, that means the photons. They exchanged the photon and they interacted. The interaction happened, but and finally again there is the the remains the the final products are again the the same e and e but they interact with each other so this Feynman diagram can easily represents this interaction schematically okay thank you